Hey YouTubers, it's RC here with RC67 and I'm doing a little film a little bit different today. Um, put some cars outside on the turnstile so you guys can really see the light reflect off of the cars and, and get a better picture of some of the beauty of that these uh, paint schemes have to offer with either the factory paint or some of the custom paints that I've done. But I just want to showcase a, a couple of cars on this video and I'm going to end up doing a follow-up video on a hot wheel haul i picked up on the last day or so but anyway let's get started here so as you guys know i do a lot of customs uh so the first car i've got here on this turnstile it's a 32 ford and if you guys go to my uh, instagram page at rchw67 you'll you'll see the uh pictures of the before and the after of this car and then some of the beauty shots so this is a 32 ford it's a white paint scheme with a white frame uh, you know, the hard plastic wheels. I think it had a, uh, some d yellow or red tampering with the number 32 on it. Again, I love the 32 Ford. It's a fun car to, to customize uh, just because I love that open air engine there that you have to offer. It just makes the car just look really, really cool. So as you guys know, when I work on these cars, I, you know, I pick up paint schemes, I pick up wheel tires and sets and stuff and, and figure out what I want to do. Um, but as always, you know, I have to drill out the bottom mushroom heads in the bottom of the car, and then I pop the pop the car apart, and then I'll throw the, the body of the car in the paint stripper, and then I'll paint the frame, I'll pick out a wheel set, I'll do some engine detailing, and this whole engine and interior was one piece. It was uh, full chrome, so I de-chrome it, and you de-chrome it by using oven cleaner. Throw that in the de-chromer, oven cleaned it, cleaned it up, uh, re chromed some of the areas, blacked out the grill, and then kind of separated some of the engine components a little bit more so you can see uh, the engine itself and then, uh, you know, some of the more details of it. Uh, the paint scheme I selected on this was a purple fog. I did a two tone follow up with uh, a matte black. Uh, and then it kind of went, even though I did the clear coat over to seal it in, the, the black still came through as matte black, so it's not real shiny. Which, is the, which was the uh, paint scheme I was trying to go for. But it really is pretty. Um, like I said, if you look at my Instagram page, you can see some of the, the before and afters as well as some of the other videos I've done, and you can see the color changes on the car. So that is the first car that I've got here. Second car, let me back this out just a little bit here. Um, this is a Pontiac Trans Am. Uh, 77 Pontiac Trans Am, I believe. And funny story is I have several cars that I have done custom work on in my office. Whoops. At my office. And then, of course, uh, my my boss, uh, he's got two kids, and they're probably by the ages of six and four. And they love Hot Wheels, obviously. And I have some that I have at my office on display. And I guess one of them got up on my chair and pulled a couple down off my shelf and played with a few of them. And you know, they weren't very expensive. I think one of them, the wheel was already loose, came off, and he felt really bad about it. I told him not to, but he went and bought me this little red 143rd scale Trans Am to go with my Trans Am collection, which I thought was really pretty cool. So I'll leave this one the way it is, but it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful red color with all black interior. There's some detail on it. When you come around the front here, you'll see some detailing along the lights there, the Pontiac symbol, the red Firebird on the front of the car, on the hood there. Um, the, 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 the cowl in front there is still red it, and the, typically the red ones will have black uh, so it kind of separates out a little bit and then when it comes around the back side here uh, you'll see a little bit of detail there is some lenses for the red lights on the tail lights and it says Firebird on the license plate so that's the, that's the second one I've got here and then the third one this is a big duty so this here is a Jada car it's in their muscle machine or their big muscles car this is also a pontiac trans am i love the paint scheme on this one and this was another one that my boss gave me because he felt so bad that his kids were playing with my car so but this was a 125th scale i don't have too many large scale cars in my collection but uh it doesn't matter I'll, I'll definitely put this in here but the nice thing about this one it's got a few features here it's got an opening hood with some nice detail on the engine there the doors open and close. The trunk opens and closes. There is some really nice detail along the front here with lenses for headlights and then the Pontiac logo. 
It's a beautiful, beautiful Firebird there on the front of the hood there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, but just a really beautiful, beautiful piece. It's gonna go real well in my collection. And I'm excited to have this actually in my collection here. Let me see if I can turn that a little bit for you guys there so you can take a look at it. But I'm really excited to have this in my collection. I love the mag wheels on it. Um, it's a beautiful, deep metallic blue color with the black interior. A little bit of detail on the interior there. But all in all, just a great piece. I was really excited when he, when he brought this in and gave it to me. So I definitely will enjoy this having in my collection. But anyway, this video is going to start getting long here. But I just want to showcase these first three and uh, see what you guys think. If you would, like, comment, or subscribe. I hope everyone's having a great Father's Day. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.